So from today, we are going to create one more project and that is Laravel Restaurant Management System. For this, we need to create a Laravel project. But before that, we need to actually uh, install uh, Node.js at first. Here you can see Windows installer. So .msi, go with this one and then go for the gem because PHP is server-side scripting language. So to uh, run server-side scripting language, we need a server, right? So Jamp will actually uh, provide us this service. So just go with the latest one. And then we need Composer. So you have to install it. So we have a video. Uh, I mean, we have individual video how you can actually install Node.js, Jamp, and Composer. Uh, after that, you just have to actually uh, set environment variable. So you just have to type here environment and you will find something like this. Edit this system environment variables. We just have to click here then here you can see environment variables just click here and then go for the system variables and then path then click on edit so you have to set uh, composer and then jump and then node.js here you can see you have to do you have to actually go to the instruction drive uh, in this case you can see uh, these are in c drive but jump in w drive so what you have to do you have to go for the this pc and then you have to go for the c drive and then you will find here so you'll find here and then go for the program files you will find node.js so what you have to do you have to just copy this path okay just copy it and then go here create a new and then paste it here that's it but i will not do this because i have already mm, added them so you have to actually individually added them and then click okay then okay then okay okay so uh, you will find jam here you can see this is the jam folder what you have to do you have to go to the jam then um, php okay then you just have to copy this path okay then you have to set the environment variable all right uh, now we'll go for the stdocs jam stdocs and here i will actually create our laravel project so here i will say cmd in the address bar, I will type CMD. And here I'm going to uh, say at first that composer requires a Laravel slash installer press enter. And it will check your composer uh, requires. Okay, I made a mistake here. So I will say composer require, require, require Laravel slash installer press enter. Here you can see uh, it will actually check if anything is needed to update. So it will update. Here you can see downloading and installing everything. Now I'll say Laravel new for the new project. And here I'm going to say uh, Laravel new, the project name. And the project name is Restaurant, right? R E S T U A R E N T underscore Lara. Or maybe I can actually say here Restaurant. Press enter. It will create a fresh Laravel project for us and for this we actually go with none at first and then let's say zero so now i will select actually my sql oh uh, okay no no actually i don't want to uh, do database migration because i haven't actually created the database okay so i'm going to create the database also so and here we'll create a new database and that will be restaurant right res t u a r n t restaurant underscore bv all right so this is our database and i'm going to copy the name let's go here and everything is done all right now we can actually go to the drive so forgot the name uh, here is the drive restaurant okay so i'll say cd res t a u r n t chow rent restaurant okay so i'm going to clear the screen all right and here i'm going to say that php r d sum serve and it will actually start the run i mean uh start running the server here you can see so this is our local host address uh, i mean we can actually write here local host uh, I mean, we don't have to actually write here 127.0.0.1. Instead of this, we can actually write here localhost. So let's go in the browser. And here I'm going to say 
लोकल होस्ट लोकल होस्ट फॉल ऑन एट थाउजेंड सो दिस इज द पोर्ट नंबर वी हैव टू मेंशन हियर एंड हियर कैन सी अन नॉन डेटाबेस रेस्टोरेंट ओके सो लेट्स गो हियर इनसाइड द रेस्टोरेंट वी हैव टू गो टू द डेटाबेस देन माइग्रेशन एंड हियर वी हैव टू एक्चुअली Okay, not here really. Uh, I have to actually go to the dot env. Here you can see dot env. So either you can actually open it in a code editor, or maybe you can change from here. So what you have to do, you have to go for the dot env, and from here you have to select the database name as restaurant underscore db. All right. So this is the database name. Right now it will uh, be work perfectly. Refresh. Okay, so we haven't actually migrated, right? So don't worry. Uh, now we'll actually go going to. Uh, I mean. I'll actually go for the migration. So I'm going to open this in a code editor, and in this case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So what I have to do? We have to go to the HDocs and then project file, and this is the project file. I have to drag and drop it like this, and here you can see we have uh, all the things. And if I go to the .dmb, we have set here MySQL, and here you can see this is the uh, database host. Okay, and uh, this is the database name, restaurant DB, and this is the username by default root and password is null. All right, everything is done here. Now let's go for the migration. For the migration, we have to go for the database, then migrations, and here we have a by default uh, table, and that is called users table for the login purpose. Okay, so we have to migrate it. So here you can see our server is running here. So I'm not going to actually remove it. I'm going to go for the terminal here. And this is why actually I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we can actually go here in the terminal. So here we'll say that okay, PHP artisan migrate for the migration. So this is a command. So we have to actually press enter, and the database restaurant DB does not exist in the MySQL connection. T A O O. So this is the mistake. T A U T U A O O O O. Wow wow wow. T A U okay, so we need to actually change it. So can I name it from here? I will go here, operation, and drop the database. Let's go clear it once again. Database name should be this one. It is Tauvent TV. Create okay, and here I'm going to say that now we can actually go for the migration. So I'm not going to say no. Uh, okay, I'm going to say no, and then I'll clear the screen and I will say PHP R P Sun migrate, migrate. Okay, press enter. Migration done. Here you can see. Now, if I go here, if I refresh, it will work. Here you can see this is a fresh Laravel project. Yes, it's working perfectly. Now refresh to check everything is added. Yes. Now. Uh, that's it for today. In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually do here multi authentication system. Uh, I mean, user can register uh, register themselves. Okay. I mean, user can uh, go for the registration and login. So, we'll uh, talk about registration and login system in our next video. So, thank you so much for watching.